Health experts are urging everyone to take this heat seriously. 12 News' Morgan Gill spoke with professionals on how you can stay cool. Storm Team 12 says a heat advisory is in place across the state until 7 o'clock this evening. Jim Pollard with AMR says such high temperatures can cause serious medical conditions and even death from heat stroke. There are certain groups who are at greater risk of suffering heat exhaustion or potentially fatal heat stroke. That would include elders, small children, three, four years old and younger. Also folks who are chronically ill, substance abusers, folks who are obese and pregnant ladies. You want to keep a close eye on all of those groups, neighbors, friends, relatives throughout a heat wave such as we're experiencing. He encourages people to limit outdoor activity until sundown or early morning. If you have to be outside during the day, wear protective covering, take frequent breaks, and stay well hydrated. Allie Jasper with MEMA says students going back to school should also take precaution. On a bus, you can put your window down to make sure that you're getting air circulating. Um, if you can get them a little fan or something like that, wear a hat, light colored clothing, and make sure they're wearing, just wearing light clothing in general, nothing too heavy. According to the CDC, heavy sweating and weakness are signs of heat exhaustion. If you have some cold compresses such as these, which are readily available at any big box store, you can use these press them, they pop, they turn cold, they stay cold for a while. And what you do is you put them alongside parts of the body where the veins are close to the surface of the skin. And if you begin experiencing fainting or dizziness, call 911. Morgan Gill, 12 News.